If you're at home and you're getting bored and you're looking for something to do, reach out to people on the internet, make a difference, figure out things, ways that you can um, contribute to help uh, other people in this time. And you can share this video and uh, encourage others to do the same because we're in this together. Now's not the time to just go be lazy and watch TV. Now's the time to lean into the crisis and figure out in ingenious ways to help combat this without going out into public spots or getting lots of people together. So right here, we are working on a project today. Since we're practicing social distancing, we asked ourselves, is there any way we can kind of make a difference right now or do something that is worthwhile? And so right now we have a 3D printer and we figure the 3D printer community has kind of reached out to people with 3D printers and has suggested that you print mask parts right now. So right now we're trying to print a mask and this one's a test run. We have some other material coming in the mail uh, that'll print a, a better mask for us. We have our 3D printer over here. We are printing a part from the mask. And this way we can kind of do something with the machinery that we have since masks are out and people are requesting them. This is kind of a final resort for it. So our 3D printer is hard at work at printing a mask and uh, it does require extra parts to it but we're hoping those kind of uh, come along and there's other mask uh, options as well and so we are just working hard to see if we can get some parts made while the demand is high for them and then when they have the other parts for these available we can just plug them right into the mask so anyways this is something you can do and I can do and in down below in the description is a link to the blueprints from Thingiverse that we found. And uh, if you have a 3D printer, look into ways you can help as well. It's best in crises like this not to shrink back, but to get out and make a difference. Uh, or stay in and make a difference, if that's all you can do. So, we just want to encourage people with that. Well, there we go. Mask is growing. We're gonna see how this thing kind of turns out. So this is about done. It has about six minutes left, I think. So even if it failed now, it'd still be functional. But right now we don't have the right kind of uh, um, plastic for it. it. It doesn't take the PLA type. It takes more of a flexible type for the uh, mask part, and we have that coming in. This is just our prototype, and we're seeing we have a lot of extra regular plastic to use, so we figured we'd make one and do a video and encourage other people to put together masks for people uh, if they have a, a 3D printer laying around like us. So anyways, that's kind of the goal, and it's almost done, and I'll put it together when it's done I guess uh, probably tomorrow morning but anyways pretty cool uh, we got our printing done and these are the parts got the mask part this is supposed to be done in more of a, a pliable plastic and we have some coming it actually fits fairly well it doesn't get a seal on my face obviously I got my beard and stuff but um, it fits fairly well and uh, if it was more of a pliable plastic, it would fit even better. So we're going to make, we got a ton of old plastic that we're going to make a bunch of these masks in. But these, this part, the, the um, cap and the back plate, um, they uh, are, are made out of the hard plastic. And the back, back plate just goes, snaps right in. Right there. And... Um, and then you put your filter in here, and then you just put the front plate on. So 
basically this built this this mask is ready it just needs some um, straps on the back it's almost ready to go we're gonna try and get as many of these made and I know it doesn't make that much of a difference but you know if everybody that has a 3d printer is printing a couple uh, half dozen of these things off or even a dozen of these things off it'll go a lot farther um, and make a bigger difference so by yourselves and through social media we need to figure out how to get a lot of this stuff out there and uh, I trust that Americans are still um, entrepreneurs and they're still ingenious and now is not the time to shrink back but now is the time um, to push push ourselves and do a, a good job with not spreading the virus and coming up with ingenious solutions. So anyways, thanks for watching guys. We're going to have a lot of updates on this. Uh, stay tuned. We got other uh, ideas for you um, in some of our videos of what you can be doing during this time of crisis, just from our lifestyle that we've kind of prepared for times like this a little bit and know what needs to be done to, to plan for the future. Uh, we're going to be starting a garden uh, early this year and we're going to take on a hydroponics project and stuff like that just so you're prepared should the worst case scenario happen. We're hoping it's not the worst but we want to prepare for the worst and learn how to do these things so if bad stuff does happen we don't feel helpless. So anyways stay tuned we'll have more videos out and subscribe to our channel. Leave us a like. Leave us a comment. And if you haven't already, please subscribe.